Amen. Amen. What's that reason? Jesus. Jesus. In a spiritual hidden. Amen. What's that reason? Jesus. And to get that. That's, 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 and to get that healing, as my brother says. That's not strong enough. <laughs> oh, yeah. Jesus. Jesus. We, and we know that's not strong enough. We know we have to be more confident <clears throat> in him. We know we, we know how to learn. I, I myself, I have to learn something to open my mouth and being confident in him <coughs> and in his word. And what he says. And to obey him. Because there is freedom in obeying God. Amen. Friday, I, me and a few other people from the had the opportunity to see uh, Sister Jack. Concepts of Truth. Amen. Where women have gone through abortion. And she spoke. She was on. She wasn't there. She did a video, and it was powerful. Amen. Yes. Amen. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm say it again, it was powerful Power. to see how God has set her free. Amen. 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 Right. Amen. Through her obedience, she did not want to do it. Right. She did not want to do it. She said, "Go get somebody else." But through obedience. She heard from God. She heard from God. Not other people she told me. From God. And when God spoke to her, she obeyed. And went through the fire. Went through the difficulties. And had to open her mouth and speak. And now can touch many people. And continue to touch people. Step out of the comfort zone. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I was yeah. proud. Amen. With honor. <clears throat> Because of her obedience. Freedom is in our obedience. Yes. And I was thankful to be there. Honored that <clears throat> she's my pastor. Amen. 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 Okay. Not because of her, because of her obedience <clears throat> to Christ. Christ was exalted through her. Amen. Amen. Freedom. Amen. 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 Everybody say freedom. 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 Everybody say freedom. 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 That's what we all want. Right. So let's be honest. Freedom. Every person wants freedom. But we have to go through what's necessary to receive that freedom. freedom. And that freedom is only through Christ. Amen. There's no other name. There's no other word that's going to help you that's right. but the word of the Savior himself. Amen. There's no other name that can save you, deliver you, can do nothing else but him. Amen? Amen. <coughs> because it is he that sets you free. That's right. And it's faith in him that sets you free. Amen? Amen. Amen. To liberate you from the bondage of the enemy. You are not my enemy. That's right. right. I may get mad at you sometimes. <laughs> Doesn't mean you're my enemy. That's right. I may get irritated at you sometimes. Doesn't mean you're my enemy. You love. Sometimes the people you get irritated at because you, you, you love them. Amen. 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 Why are you irritated? Because you want you to do right. Amen. Believe right. Walk right. Live right. That's why you're irritated. Amen. But not irritated to be angry. Irritated because she wants you to be better. Amen. 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 <coughs> so this is the only name, the only word that we can rely on. Amen. 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 Now let us go to the book of John, chapter 8. <clears throat> chapter verse 12. We're going to start there. We start with it. And we're all there. We're going to say amen. Amen. I encourage you to always to bring your Bible. Uh, and you know the reason why. Those words amen. come from heaven. Amen. 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 Those words amen. give you life. Those words are not ordinary words now. They're powerful. Amen? Amen. Amen. So I want to encourage you in that. What chapter? Chapter 8, eight. verse 12. We all there will say amen. Amen. And then we bow our heads in prayer. Take your time. But having the opportunity to But having the opportunity to see the freedom and the power of 
Oh, Sister Jackie was wonderful. It was wonderful. That freedom was wonderful. So it doesn't matter what you have done in the past. It does not matter. What matters now, if you will follow Christ Amen. and believe and obey him. Amen. He set you free. Now he says walk in freedom. Two things. He liberates you, set you free, break the chain. Now you must walk in that freedom. Yes. Yes. And then you'll be free indeed. Amen. There's two steps. I'm going to say it again. It is Jesus that sets or makes you free, breaks the chain. Whosoever <clears throat> call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. But now you have to walk in it. You have to continue in it. Amen? Amen. Two parts there. Are we all there? Amen. Almost. Almost. I, want, I love for our eyes to see it. Why? Because your eyes are looking at the words of heaven. And you ask him to. Please don't let me be deceived. Let me see what the truth is all yeah. about. Yes. And don't let me be blind. Yes. And who says, who, <clears throat> who give us sight to the blind? Jesus. Amen. Jesus. He Amen. encourages us and helps us. Amen. 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 It is him and him alone. Okay. Now, let us bow our heads. Most <coughs> well, gracious in heaven, Father, first I want to thank you for this morning. We thank you for each and individual each individual who's here, Lord. Lord, we pray in the name of Jesus, Lord, for freedom. We pray, O oh Lord, for change to fall off. We pray for strength and guidance and wisdom, Lord. We pray for your mercy and your grace, your forgiveness and your goodness, Lord. We pray that we will trust you above what we see in the flesh. We pray, O oh Lord for your light to shine within us, Lord. Every gift that you have given us, Lord, we pray right now to be stirred up in the spirit, Lord, to know that we are more than conquerors through him that loves us, Lord, that your name to be exalted in this earth and in, in our hearts, to say you are he from eternity. And we thank <clears> you, Lord. Open our hearts, Lord. Open our ears, Lord, and open our minds, Lord, so we can receive our Savior and know what you said to be absolutely true through faith. And we are saved by the grace of God through faith. And it's not of ourselves. It's by you. Lord, let this Sunday school be a blessing to each and every person, Lord. And let it be a blessing not just inward, but also outward. So go we can see the cross to see Jesus Christ. And it's in Jesus' holy and precious and powerful name that we pray. Everybody say, Amen. 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 All right. Everyone's there now? Amen. So we're going to go here again. John chapter 8, verse 12. I'm going to read this again and we'll, we'll keep going. Jesus says, to, Then spoke Jesus again unto them, saying, I am the light of the world. He that follows me shall not walk in darkness, but have the light of life. He made a declaration to tell you, I am the light of the world. I am the light. Sorry. Meaning, everything else is darkness. <clears throat> oh, that's a statement. Everything he said is darkness. That means every thought that's not in line with him is darkness. That means every religion is darkness. Everything but Jesus is darkness. Mm. Now when you start to think about how you, how you say it that way, it gets our attention, right? Everything. So he wants to line ourselves up with light. He is the light of the world. And that's what we need within us. Amen? Amen. 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 That's a powerful statement that he made. That's a powerful declaration that he made. He wanted his people to know that the light that you're looking for, that means that he is the peace, he is the joy, everything outside is not peace, it's not joy. He is the mercy and the forgiveness. Everything else is no mercy, no forgiveness. He said, I am it. That's right, amen. That's how we read that verse. That's how we read that verse, amen. 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 And that's who, that's who we call them. We, we try to use other things sometimes to be the light. Let me give you an example. Let me show you an example here. I have this little bottle here. Okay. This little bottle of cologne. I had it for a long time. In this bottle of cologne, about Calvin Klein, says eternity. Look out on top of it. But there's a problem with this. It's empty. That's right, brother. It's empty. It's empty. We we you we get things, they put names on like eternity, but it runs out. 
Man come over all these different things to try to say his peace over here, his joy over here, his happiness over here, his fulfillment over here. But it will run out. Because it's man. That's right. And sometimes we put our trust in man and things, and it's gonna run out. Just like this. Ran out. So it's not eternity. It's a counterfeit. Jesus says he is eternity. That's right. He doesn't run out. Amen. He is mercy, and he doesn't run out. Amen. He is forgiveness. He doesn't run out. Amen. He is the power of God. He doesn't run out. He is the healer. He doesn't run out. I just found out I was listening to uh, healing with prayer and everything with my wife because she wasn't feeling too well in her back area. So I said, I want you to listen to this. I had to go. I'm, I got to go. I can't be everywhere. I'm not the healer. I'm not the savior. But on faith, I say, listen to this. On, it was on YouTube, four hours of it. <clears throat> and it was scriptures on healing, faith, and things like this. I said, listen to this, where I'm going. And one thing he said that Jesus Christ took 39 stripes. And there's 39 categories of diseases. Categories. So it means each stripe cover a category of he was, he was helping us to see where the healing was at. I said, I have to learn these things. I'm going to listen some more about it. I'm going to learn more about it. Why? Because I want to know more. I don't know everything. I have to increase my faith. I have to increase my, the knowledge of God. I have to increase. I have to love God. I have to learn to love God more. Amen? Amen. Amen. <clears throat> but man made runs out. It calls itself eternity, but it runs out. Eternity. Every time you use it, it refills. Exactly. Amen. Exactly. When Jesus fills you. He just keeps filling. Exactly. You keep calling. He keeps filling. He doesn't run out of mercy, does he? <coughs> does he run out? Over. Amen. There we go. See. Amen. He 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 doesn't run out. None does he? Remember when God filled the vat? Uh huh. He never go. ran out. He never ran out again. Good. Amen. God is good. Yes. We just have to believe that that's what He will do. Amen. And He does. Exactly. But this right here, we don't put our faith in this. No. <laughs> it, will, it will run out. Right. It called us, and it looks good, amen? Amen. amen. Let us keep going. So, next, next verse here, verse 13. So then it says that the Pharisees, and the Pharisees are the religious people of the time, therefore said unto him, You bear record of yourself, and your record is not true. <clears throat> they was unable to see. Why were they unable to see? They heard the testimony of Jesus and they were unable to recognize what he was saying. Because of their, their re religiosity. They believed that what they <clears throat> were right, no matter what. Amen. And what bothers me most about this scripture right here, and it scares they call Jesus a liar. That's what they just did. I hope they <laughs> don't stand before my God and tell him, oh, your Father, your son's a liar. I don't want to hear <coughs> when he does that. And no. yes, amen. Going to the light, I want to read something else when it's talking about the light. Now, if you want to write this down. Psalms 27, verse 1. It says, The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? We can go there. We want to go there. The Lord is my Lord is the strength of my life. Whom shall I be afraid of? I don't want anybody to go there now. Amen. I hear, I hear it flipping, so it's good. It says that the Lord is my light. Jesus said, I am the light. The Lord is my light. He is your light to give you clarity. Yes. <clears throat> and my salvation, he is your deliverer. He is the one who saves you. He is my. You remember what Pastor Eric just said about mine? What does that mean? Personal. Personal. Amen. He is mine. Personal. He is my light. Personal. That's why I can understand things and see things. He's my life. He's my salvation. Personal. Mm -hmm. He is the strength of my life. The only way for me to, to get up and do anything because he gives me what? Light. Strength of my life. Amen? Mm -hmm. So he said, well, who should I be afraid of? As we wanna, he wants to have confidence in who? In me. Yes. It says the Lord. In Psalms 27, it says, the Lord is my light and my savior. Amen. Whom shall fear? The Lord is the, the stronghold of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? Amen. 
He's trying to shift our confidence into him. Let's go back to John. What does it mean? He wants to help us shift our confidence to him. Amen? The only thing I'm trying to do too, I want you to shift your confidence into, into him, to see him, to believe in him, to trust him. So we're trying to gather together. Let's go back to John 8. So John 8, <clears> we <throat> see that the Pharisees, they could not understand. They heard him say it, but they could not grab a hold to, what do you mean by that? Some of the reason was this right here. The Pharisee was more interested in debating the word. Some of us that way. Some of us are more interested in justifying ourselves Amen. versus trying to understand the word mm -hmm. and believe it. The Pharisee was more interested in <coughs> debating and trying to prove somewhere Jesus was wrong mm. and <coughs> saying, help me to understand you. What do you mean by this? How does this work? So I can believe. Amen? Amen? So the Pharisee was that way. They wanted to justify self and say, well, you know what? Maybe you wrong on this one. You know, I've been around a long time. You're only like 33 years old. You know, you're not that old. So their motive was off. So when we have the word, the word says that we don't understand, we want to be able to say what? We want to be able to try to give me an understanding. What do you mean by this so I can Believe. Amen? Amen. Amen. Okay. Another thing was that the Pharisees were more interested in outward appearance. Amen. They were more interested in outward appearance versus the heart. And when you're more interested in outward appearance than the heart, you're going to miss Jesus. You're not going to see him for who he is. Some people look at Jesus as being just a man. Mm -hmm. You're missing Jesus. You're missing him. Or just a good teacher. Rabbi, a good teacher. He's a good teacher. Or you it's just some religion somebody got. It's just a religion. You know, okay, there's lots of religions, right? Let's be honest. Am I telling the truth? Amen. And you're missing Jesus. That's right. Let's go to the next verse, we're gonna see it. Verse 14. Verse 14 says, Jesus answered and said to them, Though I've been reckoned of myself, yet my record is true. For I know where I've come from. And I know what I'm going to Look at that. Wait a I know where I come from, and I know where I'm going. My record is true. Why? Because I know where I have come from. Do you know where you come from? Amen. Amen. I don't sure want to go back. I don't want to go back. I, I agree with Kevin. I don't want to go back. Um, good. It reminds me of a story I heard. Um, preacher was talking, and he goes, you know, when you... When you go overseas and stuff, you can see some of the most tragic places that you've ever been. But if you ever go to the U.S. Embassy, it is a, it's an American technology, it's American culture, it's, it's American everything in that place. And he goes, it is not the poor rundown buildings that everything else is, because they are funded from America. He goes, they live funded by America. He goes, our Christianity is a lot like that. He goes, we can live in some of the most hateful places and stuff, but we don't have to be a part of that because we are funded from somewhere else that's not of us. But it's so many times we let our culture hmm. develop what we think our funding is. Hmm. That's what the Pharisees were doing. Right? We're living by their culture and not by the Word of God. Here's me and there's supposed to be knowledge of the Word of God. They're supposed to be reading all these Bibles. If they would have read their own Word, they would see Jesus was the way. <laughs> Jesus is the Messiah. Amen. 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 The word reveals to us. So what we so what would Amen have to do? Amen. Thank you. Thank you. Please. So what we've seen here is that Jesus is telling you, I know where I've come from. Do you know where you come from? Do you know that you are eternal? Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Do you know that? Amen. That you are eternal? Yeah, that's right. Do you know that your spirit, your soul came from eternity? Yes, yeah, right. And the body came from the earth? Do you know that you are eternal? Do you know where you came from? I'm not just talking about your mom and dad. Do you know where you're going? Do you know how to get there? Yes. Do you hear what he's saying? Think about what Jesus said. Jesus said, he was so confident. He said, my record that I speak to you is true. I know where I came from, and I know where I am going. Do you, most people who don't believe in God, I talked to you several of them called atheists, 
Since you don't know the origin, you don't know where you come from. You don't know where you're going. But, and people who don't serve the Lord, they don't know. They have an idea. Right. It's vague. It's superficial. It's, it's on, a, on a surface level. I know of God. But we as Christians know God. Amen? Amen. You have precise understanding and say, I am <clears throat> eternal. My spirit and my soul came from heaven. My body came from earth. I know how to get to heaven. I know where I'm going. Amen? Amen. Amen. That's the confidence we have to have. That's the assurance we have to have. Like you just have to say, the ones that don't know of him, they hope that when the day comes, he will know them. Hope, yes. And that's why we have to share that hope of Christ to them so they can have the light. Amen. Amen. And the path, and the way, the truth, and the life. And the the life. life. Amen. So when you know where you're going. See, I know for a fact that when I was pregnant with my baby daughter, I mean, I had, I got real sick and I had to go to the hospital. I know he brought me and her body to do that because I could have lost her. And she is a miracle child to me. Because the doctor said if we hadn't got there when we did, I would I would have lost her. So I know where he brought me from and I, he brought me from the bars. Amen. I never done drugs or anything. I tried it one time, but it wasn't for me. I know what all he has like when me and Cowboy wasn't in church anywhere, he was right there with us at all times. Amen. We faced things too. Amen. Amen. I mean, we we really faced it together, Amen. you know, with his with his help. Amen. I mean, so I know what he's done for me, and yeah. I just can't give him enough praises and glory. Yeah. Amen. 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 See, see how powerful when Jesus said those words. Okay. Let's, let's keep going in that verse. Okay. He said, and he said, I know where I'm going. He said, but speaking to the Pharisees, the religious people, he says, you cannot tell where I'm going. And I'll tell you where I come, and you don't know where I'm going. So the problem was with the Pharisees, they didn't know where Jesus came from. They didn't know where he was going. So when you don't know where he's come from or where he's going, you're not going to serve him. Amen. You're not going to trust in him. That's a good one. Say it again. You're not going to believe him. Say it again. Say it again. Say it again. again. Okay. If you do not know where Jesus came from, or do you not know where he is going, you will not serve him. Amen. 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 But when you do know where Jesus came from, and you do know where he's going, you say, I'm going to serve him because I know who he is. Amen. 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 Because you know that this is a pastime, right? I'm eternal. I am eternal. Doesn't matter what you tell me. I I stay right in front of all the atheists and tell them to. Okay? Don't make a difference. (laughs) Okay, it's time to do but what I'm saying is right here. Know it. Have the no means to have an intimate relationship and precise, clear understanding of who you are. That's why Pastor Eric said you're gonna preach on this. Who you are. Do you know who you are? Amen. Amen. When you know who you are, it changes who you are. Yes, it does. Amen. 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 So Jesus said, these people over here don't know who I am. That's why they won't serve me. That's why you keep debating me and fighting me and justify yourself because you don't know where I come from. You don't know where I'm going. When you do, you will change. Amen. 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 Oh, I love to read the words of Jesus. Now let's keep let's hear reading. There's power in the words of Jesus in, in, in the red dipped in blood, right? In the covenant, right? In the covenant of the blood of the Lamb, right? Let's keep going. Next verse 15 says, this he tell you, he's speaking to the Pharisee. He says, You judge after or according to the flesh. I just know man. What is he saying? So here's the problem we see. That they're making their decisions based off the flesh. What they can see. What they feel. What they think. Right? Amen. They're making the decisions based off the wrong things. Your eyes would deceive you. Your heart would deceive you. Everything about you would deceive you. You're using the wrong method, he says. It's according to the flesh. Where is the faith? There's no faith involved with the Pharisees. There's no faith involved with the with the uh, with the religious people. He wants faith. You have to know where Jesus comes from, know where he is going, and then you trust him. Your decision that you make cannot be based off the flesh. Jesus said it right here. 
Amen? Amen. Amen. That making sense? Amen. So when you see something going on, you have to say, well, I, this in the flesh is going on, but you have to see it in the what? In the spirit. In the spirit. And see it according to the word of God. You are more than a conqueror. You are eternal. See, you are eternal. It doesn't matter what somebody says. You are eternal. Have you, have you heard that before? It doesn't matter what you say. He said, you know where you're going. You're going to live forever. Amen? In Amen. Christ. You have to believe that. According to the flesh, let me just go right away, doesn't it? No. You are more than conquerors. Yeah. Amen? Amen? No, you are more than conquerors. So, I'll get to you. So, Jesus is shifting our mindset to the spirit. But if we're making our decisions based off the flesh, he said you're wrong. And we get us in trouble. I'm going to go to another place in the Bible. I want to show it to you. You got something? Yeah. A lot of our trust is determined on where our focus is. It's okay. kind of like with David. We were talking about it in a way that I thought. His focus was on God's promise that God promised him. So nothing in between could take him out and could determine on that until he seen God fulfill the promise of him being king. And God's promised us eternity. Amen. And we, if we focus on that, nothing between here and there should just deter us. Yes. It's so easy in our day-to-day -day life. We can go to our house and have faith that when we flip a light switch, lights are going to come on. Yeah. Or we can turn the water and water is going to come on. Yeah. But as soon as something happens in your life, is God really there? Mm -hmm. Which is more constant than your water, which is more constant than your electricity. Mm -hmm. But we so tend to doubt the one thing that's more constant than anything. Mm -hmm. And that's why we have to hear the word over again, right? Mm -hmm. So we can see the word over again to understand. Okay, I want to take you to a place. Can we go to John chapter 7, verse... 22. Amen. John, we'll read 22, 23, and 24. John chapter 7, verse 22. When you're there, please say, Amen. 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 Okay, because we're almost there. Good. Amen. I'll say it again. Because that was so important. So understand something. Know where you come from. Yes. Do you hear me? Know where you're going. Amen? Yes. That's the thing. When you do it, changes you, right? Okay. And there's a journey between when you come and when you go, right? Yes. There's a long journey between where you come from and where I'm going. But know where you come from, know where you go. Amen. Amen? Amen. Okay. okay, I'm gonna read it now. 22, 23, 24. It says, Jesus speaking, he said, Moses therefore gave unto you circumcision, not because it was of Moses, but of your fathers, that you on the Sabbath day circumcised men. If a man on the Sabbath day receives circumcision, that the law of Moses should not be broken, are you angry at me because I have made a man completely whole on the Sabbath day? Now think about this. You say this, is, one thing is okay, but you're mad because he healed somebody on the Sabbath day? What's the problem? Think about it. Here's the problem. Here's the, he says in the next verse, he says, just not, do not make your decisions according to appearance. They didn't like how Jesus looked. They didn't like what Jesus said. They didn't like that. So they made their decisions based off his appearance. He said, but make your judge righteous judgment or make your decision based off the word of God. Right? He healed a man. That's the power of God. He speak life to you. That's the power of God. <laughs> So make your decision based off that and not because of, you know, you don't, you like Moses better than Jesus, right? That's what he was doing. I like Moses, but I don't like Jesus. So therefore, everything you do is wrong. That's right. Amen? Amen. Amen. Well, make your decision based off righteous judgment. That's what Jesus was teaching. So he talked the same thing in, in John chapter 7, the same thing in John chapter uh, 8. Let's go back to John chapter 8. My, my biggest thing is that's what I say. Is to the Lord wants us to know where we come from. We came from Him. He wants us to know that before we was in our mother's womb, He knew us. Your spirit is His His breath. He created every one of us. Amen. He wants you to know that. He wants to know where you're going. He wants you to know this, because when you know this, you share this with someone else, you live that. 
and it gives you confidence. Amen? Amen. Amen. In the book of Thessalonians, chapter 1, verse 4, don't you go there, he talks about he giving hope to see your loved ones again. Amen? Amen. Amen? He's saying the same thing for eternity. It's not like this, my friends. It's not like this. It's not going to work. It, it's going to run out. Amen? Amen? Jesus will never run out. Amen? Okay. Amen. Let's keep going. Anybody have anything I can say? I hope you're feeling encouraged and strengthened by Jesus. Not by Justin. We got the same J, but you know, Jesus. That's where we come to to encourage us in it. Encourage us to be steadfast and strong in Jesus. Here's me a question. He says, do you know, I wrote this here, he said, do you know God? You have to know Jesus. We study the, the character of Jesus, the life of Jesus, to know God, right? Yes. Here's a few things I wrote down. It says, do you know Jesus? Do you know his character? Do you know his forgiveness? Do you know his word? Do you know his love? Do you know his authority? Do you know his power? Do you know his mercy? Do you know his kingship? Do you know his patience? Do you know his judgments? Do you know his lordship? Do you know his hatred towards sin, but his love toward people? These things help us to know God. Amen. Amen. These things help us to know who? Jesus. Jesus. Yes. And when you know Jesus, you know God. Amen. 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 This is what helps strengthen us. The Lord is my light. So I'm trying to say the The Lord is my what? My light and my strength. Salvation. He is the strength of my life. Who, why am I being afraid? What he said. Amen. Amen. Okay. Let's keep going. Let's go to verse 16. Are we all there? Amen. 16 says, because we're going line by line, taking our time, walking through it, right? Yeah. 16 says, he said, and yet if I judge, my judgment is true, for I am not alone, but I am with the Father that sent me. Wow. What does that say to me? Let me say the Father was on in heaven, sent the Son, and he's also in him, with him, right? Jesus sends us. He said, I'm with you too. You see that? I am with you, he says. I send you to go. I'm going to be with you when you go. Amen? Amen. Amen. See that comment? Mm -hmm. The Father sent the Son, and the Father's in the Son. <coughs> so when he bear record, record, you have two. Plus the Holy Spirit, you got three. You got three and one. Yeah. So his record is true, based off the law. Amen. The law says in the book of Deuteronomy that... In order to a witness be true, it had to be two or three to bear witness. That's right. And Jesus said, I'm one to bear witness of myself, because you don't know who I am. I am Father, Son, Holy Spirit, all in one. So when I speak, he said, I speak the words directly of God. Amen? Amen? So when he sends us out, we must also believe he's with me. He sent me and with me. He never leaves you nor forsakes me. He sent me and with me. Amen? Amen. You see in the scriptures? I like to show the scripture so our eyes can, can believe it and grab a hold to it. So wherever you're going, wherever you go through, right? you go to the doctor, you go this, this, this. He sent you, he's with you. Amen? Amen. Amen. Let's, say it, let's say it again. He sent me, me, and he's with me. And he's with me. That's what he wants you to know. Sometimes God just wants to speak to us to help us, encourage us. Just like, to know. Yes, just just like when Moses went up on that, you know, went up in the mountain and everything, and those people, they knew they did wrong. You know, while he was gone, they 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 knew they had sinned real bad. Amen. 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 And half of them died. And half of them died. Yes, amen. And then at the end of it, it, and at the end it says it it, it shall be written and it's true. Uh, or it shall be done. That's what the king of man was wrote. Uh huh. God told Moses. Told Moses. Yeah. Right. The king of man. Exactly. But how many times do we forget some of the Ten Commandments? Right. Mm -hmm. Sometimes, you know, God has to slap you. Go back and look. Oh, and that, mm -hmm. you think Go back and look at what I wrote. <laughs> See, just, that's what I don't understand, the Pharisees. These were men that studied the Word of God. Mm -hmm. They had scribe after scribe, and they knew the coming of Christ. They couldn't see it with their own eye. They wanted, they thought he'd come back as a 
holy, rich, powerful thing. And they right. weren't looking at him becoming so humble. Mm -hmm. And if they would have read the word, they didn't know. These people were teaching people not to know God. Mm. Sometimes we want things to appear our way. Yes. We want it to come our way. And we won't accept it unless it comes exactly how I think it to come. That's right, bro. If it doesn't come that way, I ain't going to no, accept that, right? Uh, Let's be right. honest. That's but, we right. have, but that's not faith, though. Faith is to say, I don't know how you're going to come. I don't know how it's going to be. I don't know how you're going to heal me. I don't know how you're going to save me or show me. But, you know, it's going to come. But I just don't know how because God holds the how. That's right. Right. I have to believe on faith. It's gonna come somehow, you know. Maybe gonna come to, you know, come to you. Maybe I have to talk to you. Maybe I need, you know, talk, talk to him. Right here. Right here. It's gonna come right here. Right. But if I'm thinking it's gonna come over here, because I like them, like I like them, so I'm gonna come over here. If I'm thinking it's gonna come here, and I'm focused and say it got to come here, it got to come here, it got to come here, I'm gonna miss God. Yes, I am gonna miss Him, because why? I have told God you must come this direction, and God said no. I'm over there. No. Trust me. I'm sending you here. I gave it to him. He has to give it. <coughs> but some time, like the Pharisees, they were reading the word. Not doing it. <laughs> but they were even doing it. And they were, they were trying to push the God to do it his way. I mean, they, I mean I'm sorry, do it their way. Right. So they missed the Messiah. They missed their Savior. They missed the light of the way. They missed the peace, the joy, the hope because of it. That's what happens sometimes. And we have to admit that, because that is a sin. So we have to admit to say, Lord, I'm sorry. Right. Just talk to me how you want to. Show me what you want. That's right. Not my will. Not my will be done, but His will, will be done. Amen. The question Amen. is, how thirsty are you? Uh oh, that's good. Come on. Because uh, you got a cup. That cup will run out. Do you want a cup or a water hose? That yeah, water hose never yeah, ends. Yeah. Mm. If you still ain't drinking that water, you'll get the blessings you want. But if you just drink from that cup, you just get the blessings that we just in that cup. Mm. Amen. How thirsty are you? That's good. Wow. Amen. Amen. That means that the Holy Spirit is the living water that's been the Savior. How thirsty are we? Mm. So that means you told the lady at the well. Come on, keep talking. Please. His cup, her thirst would never end. Her cup will never end. And she, at first she thought thinking of the, the natural not of the supernatural. Jesus, everything, every step he made was supernatural. Yes. I mean, even when Satan tempted him, he walked with Satan. And he, he tempted him 40 days. Think about it. 40 days in the desert. Anybody lived in the desert? I lived in Arizona. That's desert, people. Yeah. You can't be out there an hour, let alone 40 days. Yes. And he went 40 days and 40 nights, and Satan couldn't take it. Mm -hmm. But remember at the end, the angels come and nurse Jesus back. Mm -hmm. He fed him and nursed him and took care of him. It just, if they would have looked at what they were looking at, if they would have understood what they were seeing at that time, okay. we might, as Gentiles, might not have got saved. That's true. In a way, I thank God that we, Jesus come for us. Because then he sent out the disciples to come to teach us. You know, that's like a, well, you take the time, Christian, but that's like an a, a unbeliever reading the Bible and say, I can't understand it. That's right. It's true. They can't. You can't. Yo. Physical eyes, you can read that Bible, and you just like, because your heart, you haven't surrendered your heart. You, you're not, you can have a motive, and you want to do it your way. You want to show it, and you can read, and most people go, go right into Genesis and get lost in the, in the shadow of the New Testament. That's right. They have to come to the light of the New Testament. The light of the New Testament. Jesus said, I'm the light, I'm the Savior. Come to know me, and I'll show you the shadows. Yes. But a lot of people are going to go to the Old Testament and get lost and understand how that killing is going to happen. I talked to a few of them. Mm -hmm. Because they can't see it. But when you come to the Lord and we surrender your heart to Jesus, surrender your heart to the Lord and ask him, accept him, then he, op he, he takes a veil and he just, wow, I can see it now. And when you read the Bible, I can read the Bible now. I can understand it now. Why the, the veil has been taken off. Because you receive who? Jesus. What's his name? Come on. Jesus. That's, Jesus. that's the reason why you have to receive Jesus. You're going to the New Testament, know him, and then he shows you. Remember when they crucified Jesus, he tore the veil from top to bottom. Amen. So the veil is gone. It ain't there anymore. Amen. We're here to, we have to turn our eyes to the Lord. The, the, the Old Testament is just an example to us of how he wants us to live. I know. I know this is good. I, I mean, what time, what time, what time, what time are we at? 28. 28? 
Hey, whoa, whoa, 60 seconds, right? <laughs> and it's tickets right now. <laughs> well, okay, well, let, let's say, I like how you said it. Anybody have anything like to say, please? Feel free in, in, in Sunday school. It's not just, I don't, I'm not to lecture you, well, but to help you, okay? I, I won't, Speak, okay, I'm amen? I'm just sharing this, you know. Okay. I just got out of the open door back in 1994. And I was really want to get to know the Lord. I sat there praying, praying, praying. But I never got no answer. Not until I had that big truck accident. I said, Lord, what do you want me to do? We always go to the Lord when something bad happens. But I could see why that big truck accident happened because he showed me he had the control of my life. I did. And when I bowed down to him that night, I said, thank you. And I asked him to pour his knowledge into me and teach me what he wants me to know. That's why I know the Lord as much as I do. Humble yourself to the eh? Before we can know, we can't do it our own will. We can't just open the Bible and just go know. You gotta humble yourself to the Lord. He give He give uh, a grace to the humble. And when we do, and then we open that word, He can reveal it to us. Well, how thirsty are you? He said, "Amen." Anyone have anything else? Yeah, one thing. That's the song we sang. Where are we this morning? Amen. Well, I must keep. Well, I must keep. Yes. <laughs> yes. It's just sitting right here in my head right now. I'm thanking you, Lord. Thank you. Yes, sir. Peace. Amen. Amen. Peace. peace of my Lord. I love every minute of it. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Anyone else? Okay. If there's nothing else, I'm... When I go and witness to people and tell them what, what he has done in my life, that, you know, what he has brought me from and stuff like that, He said, I know where I come from, and I know where I'm going. Amen? Amen. 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 All right. And they can't tell us that. Will you dismiss us, Brother George? Our most gracious Heavenly Father, we do thank you, Lord, for this day. Lord, we thank you for this word in Sunday school this morning. We thank you for this Brother Justin this morning. 